This is what today's lip sync technology looks like. Wild times we live in. So make sure to subscribe to Mike. If you want to make a video just like that one, we'll stick around. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make AI generated lip sync videos for whatever kind of project you're working on. The first is going to be through an online service. And the other option I'll show you today is how you can install it locally on your machine. So you can use this as many times as you want for free and even implement it into some of your workflows if you want to use it in like a coding project. So enough talk, let's get into it. To start off with the free version, you're going to want to come over to this site called synclabs.so. Now, from my understanding, they just released their website, so there isn't a lot you can do on it, but I've been playing around with the lip sync generation and it's actually really good. And like I mentioned, they have a great free plan. So you can just click on get started here. And like I said, it's a very bare bones platform. You can see I already have one here, but once you're inside, you're going to come up to playground. And then once you're over on the playground, we can select an audio file. For this example, I just went over to 11 labs and had it generate a tongue twister in the style of Rachel's voice. And then after you have your audio, you're going to want to also import import a video. I just have this 10 second video here of Elon Musk. Literally, it's just the picture of him stretched out for 10 seconds. And then once you have both your files in, just click on submit. It doesn't quite work for images right now, but I'm sure that'll be a feature they're going to work on soon. That took about like three or four minutes, but once it's finished, it'll show up here. And then we have our video. Amidst algorithms, artificial, agile, and adept, and autonomous AI, its actions always kept. It's not too bad. Now, obviously you can tell it is artificial. It doesn't look quite right, but this technology is evolving evolving rapidly. I wouldn't be surprised if in about a year from now, all the little kinks of this kind of stuff is figured out. And we have pretty accurate deep fake voice cloning stuff like this. That's completely free to use. This one looks like it used 11 credits and took 12 seconds to make, which meant that I deducted 12 credits from my total 300. If you only need a couple videos, this is a great service to check out, but you can buy more credits if you need them. If you really needed to use just an image, another option that I like to use is called GUI AI on their lip sync feature. For this one, it's the same thing, but from my experience, the results just aren't quite as good. We'll input our picture and we'll add our audio and we'll submit it. Once again, they do give you some free credits to use up front, but after you use up all of them, you are going to have to pay for it. And this is the video it came up with. Amidst algorithms, artificial, agile, and adept, and autonomous AI. It's so you can see the lips definitely move, but it has this kind of artifact here, which I don't like, and it pixelated his face completely. Like I said, it's not the best, but it's free if you need to use just an image and an audio and make a quick AI lip sync video. But if you're looking for more of a long-term solution, I got you covered too. I'm gonna show you how to install Wave 2 Lip, which is actually the open source code that actually made this exact same video here. You can see if you go to this person's GitHub page and scroll down, they actually have an API, which is the same website we checked out. So I assume they're also using this wave to lit process here as well. I will mention though, it's not as good as the API version from the website, but the stuff you can generate on your local machine is pretty decent. I'll have a link to the GitHub down in the description below, but once you're over here, you're going to want to install this GitHub repository somewhere on your computer. If you don't have, if you don't have anything installed, if you don't have Git installed, you can either download the zip file or what we'll do is we'll grab the link here. Then we'll come into VS code and then we'll type in Git clone and then the repository and click on enter. And then once we have our wave to lip file here, we'll type in CD wave to lip. And what this will do is that'll put us inside the folder of our wave to lip directory here. If you head back over to the GitHub page, we are going to need a couple more things. You're going to have to have at least Python 3.6 installed. If you don't have it, you can install it off the Python website. And you're also going to have to get FFmpeg. It's kind of like a giant Python library that you can use to actually edit videos with Python. There's so much cool stuff you can do with this. And wave to lip takes advantage of this functionality by transforming the images and putting it into a video. I might do a video more on this later, but you're just going to want to come and install the latest version here. I already have it installed on my computer, so I'll skip that step. Then once you have Python and FFmpeg, then we'll install the requirements in the TXT folder. So we can copy this function over. We'll come back into VS Code here. We'll paste in the function and click enter. This will do its thing and download everything you need for wave to lip So I already have most of it, so I didn't really have to install anything. And it gave me this error here, but honestly, I just ignored it. Then we're going to need two more things. First, we're going to need our pre-trained face detection model, which we can get from this link here. It'll be something along the lines of S3FD, which stands for S3 face detection. It should be a PTH file. And we'll go into our wave to lip folder and we'll go into our face detection folder, our detection folder and the SFD folder. And then we'll put this file inside the SFD folder. Once we have that file saved, we'll come down and we'll pick our model. If you want, you can actually train your own models with this, but it can take up to like one or two days if you don't have that good of a computer. 
I tried to do it and it took like 10 hours. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you need a more robust solution. So what you can do is install one of the pre-trained models from this table here. And we're only gonna be looking at the first two as these two are kind of like templates for you to train a model on. So you can pick between wave to lip or wave to lip GAN. Personally, I've been getting better results with wave to lip GAN just because it looks a little bit better. And honestly, the accuracy is pretty much the same. So we'll come over to, so we'll click on the link here for the model. This will take us to a download page where we can download the wave to lip GAN.pth. We'll download this file, we'll put it in our wave to lip file, and we'll put this in our checkpoints folder. Click on save. While that's downloading, we can come back over to the GitHub page. And what we'll do is we'll copy this command here for the Python script. What I like to do is I like to make a new text file here. We'll call it newscript.txt and I'll paste in the function. And this will let us edit our Python function before we put it inside of the terminal here. So we need to add in our three variables. That is the checkpoint here, the video and the audio source. So I'll drag my audio that I have and I'll put it in my wave to lip folder. And then I'll also drag my Elon video that I have and put it in the wave to lip folder. So now you can see I have these two files inside my folder. Then we'll come back over to new script and we'll replace this video.mp4 here with Elon video.mp4 and we'll replace this in audio source here with audio.mp3 and then for checkpoint we'll put in checkpoints slash wave to lip underscore gan dot pth so this is basically saying is go inside the checkpoints folder which is right here and then use the wave to lip underscore gan dot pth file for our checkpoint and we should have already downloaded that inside of our checkpoints folder and then once we have our completed command here we can copy it and we can paste it into our terminal here and click on enter and if everything goes well it should wait a couple seconds and then it'll start to make the video for us so it actually crashed my obs recording but once it's done it'll show a bunch of blue text here which means the video has been downloaded you can come over to the results folder here and you'll see a new video called result underscore voice and this is the video we got amidst algorithms artificial agile and adept and autonomous ai it's actually now i will admit this isn't the greatest quality version. It's kind of similar to the other GUI AI that I showed you. I definitely prefer the quality of this video on Sync Labs over the one I made on my computer. But hey, I mean, this was free. It only took a couple minutes and you can do this as many times as you want. But you got to keep in mind, this is the worst this technology will ever be. It's only going to keep improving from here. I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple months from now, this technology looks so much better than how it looks right now. The only thing that's stopping this from being a great looking lip sync video is the quality of the face detection here. They were just able to upscale this directly inside this application, it would be perfect. So that's how you can generate AI lip sync videos for whatever your needs are. And if you're generating videos like this, you might also need a couple images as the base for your videos. So you can check out this video here where I show you doll E3 and the incredible images you can make. You can generate an image with doll E3 for free and then come over to one of these AI lip sync programs and make your AI generated images come to life. So I'll see you over there.